。OK。Okay, let me. I have to press this one. Got it. Okay. Um. So my name is Guido Zuliani, and I'm the summer springboard instructor for the architectural course at the Fordham University. I am an architect and an educator. I graduate from the architectural school in Venice with honor, and uh, I've been teaching architecture, uh, studio design, and architectural history and theory at the Cooper Union for more than thirty years. Um. I'm also faculty at the doctoral school in Venice, and I've been visiting professor at the Politecnico in, in Milano. Hi, everyone. My name is Emma. I'm a current graduate student at Columbia University. I'm in my third year in the master's program and will graduate this May 2023. I have an undergrad in environmental design from Texas a and University, and um, I chose architecture um, and really dove into architecture and um, got interested in it due to my background in art before undergrad and then as an art minor in undergrad. And I really liked the idea of uh, designing and designing space and cultivating more of an experience for the user and having a larger scale impact um, than just visual arts. And so I really liked the idea of um, blending a lot of different mediums and terms of materials as well as um, different topics like psychology and science and math with art to uh, get into architecture. Yes, my, my reason for choosing architecture as a, as a discipline, as a profession, is the fact that architecture uh, contribute essentially and has a significant agency in the construction of the physical environment. And in there, there is a lot of uh, form in which history it takes a, a body a, and a shape. And that's the reason that I stay in academia in spite of uh, also architecture. Uh, it was the, the, and, and my interest in, in architectural history is the this role that uh, uh, architecture has in terms of constructing uh, uh, the world in which we live, giving shape and transmitting meanings and, and uh, visible and also hidden. Uh, to the world in which we live and to our life in a certain sense. Uh, moving into the little bit of a description of what we do, uh, Emma and I, in this uh, program, uh, a typical day consists uh, uh, of uh, a little bit of an introduction. Uh, sometimes it's a short lecture, sometimes are some example. We draw something on the board uh, uh, or we use a slide, a little slideshow. A PowerPoint presentation, and then we move directly to the exercise. And the exercises are a series of different uh, exercises that the students do in the class um, to enter, let's say, the world of architecture in a very material way, physical way. And so drawings, different form of drawings, uh, models, uh, collage, different form of expression. Uh, we work very much hands-on, and uh, Emma and I, we move around the class constantly to help the students to uh, uh, understand uh, design technique, but also to find the wrong way to um, express themselves eventually. Um, if you want to add something, Emma. Yeah, so like we were saying, we move around the room. It's really hands on uh, because a lot of the a lot of the curriculum for this workshop is really fundamental uh, elements of architecture that anyone would need to know before moving forward in their career or their academic um, research investigations in architecture. So a lot of this is a lot of hand drafting and um, learning about kind of the history behind different architectural features as well as different buildings. And then current um, designs and things that are happening today. Uh, we do free uh, tutorials with technological and softwares that are currently used in programs for architecture and are used in practices. We typically visit some practices around New York City um, so the students can really see what an architect does on a day to day basis and talk to firms that work on different types of projects so everyone can see the different avenues of architecture and projects and different scopes that. You could go into in the future uh, after graduation. This is an important point that Emma made. Is this two afternoon in, during the two weeks of the program? We are visiting 
different forms of architecture. And the idea that we have behind that one is the fact that the profession is changing uh, uh, structurally in a very deep way, not only because of the introduction of certain technology like the computer in the process of designing, but also because the demand of archi to architecture have been changing in particular with our environmental crisis uh, and and uh, also social problems that in which architecture is in part responsible, but it can also be in part the solution. And so we visit uh, different firms that uh, in which we can find uh, or you can find or see uh, some inspiration for a possible direction that you may start to or begin to consider um, as, a, as a profession. And I would say that uh, uh, as it happened with uh, some of the students last year, uh, some of them had already an idea about architecture and it is important for them to see uh, the complexity that is behind uh, that discipline that maybe is simply represented as undesigning a house. In reality, there are a lot of more potential uh, uh, for, for a designer these days. And the other one is, as it happened with also some other students, his curiosity to see uh, if actually the, the, the practice of architecture, the discipline of architecture is something that may or may not interest uh, uh, in for, for future uh, careers. And one more thing, and I, then I leave Emma to, to conclude, is also is fun. Uh, the students had a, a great time last year, and uh, so it, it is a fun two weeks uh, uh, experiment or experience. Yeah, I really think that that's why people should think this. Um, students who are con even considering architecture or don't know anything about architecture or know and have a familiarity with architecture, I think it's a really well-rounded program that anyone should take. Um, I had no familiarity with architecture when I started studying in undergrad, and I really wish I had an experience like this to know what I was getting myself into and to know kind of some of the fundamental aspects of design and buildings. Um, I feel like I would have kind of had a little bit of a head start when I had started the undergraduate program if I had an experience like this. Um, we had a lot of positive feedback from the students last semester about how much they learned and how surprised they were what they could accomplish in just one to two weeks and um, it really is a collaborative and academic environment that gives you a brief intro into what their future is going to be like for the next four to five years in their undergraduate programs they choose. So Emma and I were looking forward to see you all for uh, two weeks of uh, intense and exciting activity and um, see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.